we're in the mill now. We've got the the disc it's sitting up in the mill. We're fairly high, but we have a, a big um, heavy diesel gudgeon pin sitting here with the bolt going down through the middle, and then we have the clamp going across the top to give us a bit of extra clamping pressure. So I've just touched off the side here. We're sitting at 91.6, and look, we're, we're aiming for around 80 millimeters, so this disc can slide down the cylinder. So I'll touch off. I'll take around 10 and a half, maybe 11 thou off each side, and that'll give us a, um, a an elongated disc that can be slid down the liner and turned around. So we'll have a bit of coolant running and the mill running, and we'll see how we go. So that's a two millimeter cut, we'll see how we go with that. Put the tool on back down. Okay, so I'll run up and back a few times. You can see the general gist of how we're getting the job done. And I'll come back in a little while. Okay, we're around the other side now. I've cut stuff. We're doing a two millimeter cut again. I'll put my little board up here to shield us all. And we'll see how we go. gonna go. I'll come back when I'm done. Right there we go. So we're sitting up a bit high but I didn't have anything to get it down with really. I went a bit narrower. I just um, wanted to get right down inside um, right down inside the bore easily and get my hand down too. And look that we got like 150 mil of surface area there. So there you go, that's not, not too bad for a little Chinese mill. You can just see a little ridge there. Same there, but look, that's fine. So what have we got here? 
yeah, a little over 70 mil which is good because of the thickness here to go down the bore so what I'm going to do now I'm going to file these two edges this edge here that edge there this edge along here around the step and across the back there so that um, when I slide it down through the liner there's no chance of us marking up the nice well I suppose it's not a nice new liner is it it's going to be an old bucket one so it probably doesn't matter but look we'll do it anyway um, just just for the sake of making a tidy job of it well you have to excuse my messy bench here I'm in the middle of doing the four jaw chuck and then we have other steel here ready to go ahead with the puller but when we the idea of this puller or this plate is that if this is the liner down in I'll just come in a little bit I think if this is the liner down in the tractor well the idea is to be able to slide this down so we slide the disc down in and we can get our hand right down to the bottom there and then we have the other bar and there is room under there and you you bring that through like that so that gives you that plate down the bottom and you can see where I went the little extra I'll take the plug out here And when you look down the liner, you can see how much room we've got. If I try and line that up with the wall or something like that for us. So, that's plenty of surface area. Plenty of room for it to self-centre for us. So there you go. That's a plate part of the puller done. Well now I've done the the puller plate that goes down the bottom this is a top plate now this plate here it's just a drop from the laser cutter place back years ago you could buy um, just buy off cuts off him but I was talking to him the other day and he said look he hasn't got any anymore but it's three quarter plate it is around 180 millimeters across so that gives us plenty of room and look I've got it sitting up on two V blocks that are clamped down to the table with our with our clamps here and we're going to drill and tap this plate to three quarter UNC which is around 19 millimeters but and look that's just because the threaded rod I had was that it can be anything or it just doesn't matter what this thread is so we'll, um, we'll put a bit of lube on it and we'll just do the little pilot hole. So we'll just blow that a little bit off a little. Take this drill out now. The little black book. This is a real old one. This is one I keep on the mill. I've got a few of these. And um, okay, UNC three quarter. We come down here basic major diameter we come right across here tapping drill 16.5 millimeters 
So we'll see how we go. I think we should have a 16.5, but we can come to the front of the book here, and when we find our 16.5 millimeters, what I'm looking for here is 16. 16.2 was 41 64ths and 16.6 is 21.32. So there are the drill options if I haven't got a 16 and a half. So we'll go over and have a look at our um, have a look at our drill selection and see how close we can come to that. Well there you go, you wouldn't believe it, but I didn't have a 16 and a half millimeter drill, but I did have a number two Morse taper that I've adapted to number three up the top here um, which is a 2132. Now 16.5 mil is 649 thou, 6 .0 and this drill here is 0.656. So look we're, we're 10 thou bigger than we should be. That's not going to matter a toss. I'll, well, I'll zoom out again. I'll pop a bit of. I might slow the drill down a bit. No need to be in a hurry for all this, is it? That looks fine. We'll pop a bit of slip and slide on. And we'll drill a hole. That's the drill I sharpened on the drill doctor. Okay, we'll blow that away to clean up another day. <laughs> and now we need to get a tap in here to centralise it up and we're going to run a three-quarter UNC tap down. This is going to be our pulling plate. Um, what will happen over time, because this is mild steel, um, like back if I had the workshop full time and I was I had mechanics running like I used to, um, this thread would wear. And so what we would end up doing was just we'd weld a nut on the top here and as the nut wore we'd book we bored this out to clearance down here and what we do is put a um, weld a nut on and when it got buggered we just chop him off with the grinder and <coughs> weld another nut on there. So anyway Kelly Dog thinks she's gotta have a bark. I'll go and find the three quarter UNC tap and we'll pop a thread in here. Well I have a a good quality three-quarter UNC tapered tap but I only have a out of a cheap Chinese kit the bottoming one so we'll start off with this tapered tap and we'll just take it as far as it'll go I've got it in the in the chuck there it's not over tightened or anything like that so we'll just make sure everything's firm again just to We've got plenty of surface area for that to clamp. We'll make sure there's plenty of room here. We'll go down nice and slow. Well that's a bit of a surprise, I, I thought it would slip on the chuck 
way before that, but what it's done is jammed itself onto the chuck now. So that's no big deal. Alright, we'll get this out, then we'll just run the bottoming one through, just up and back, and we should have a nice thread in our plate. Okay, now we have the cheap one, we'll just try and run that through if we can. Okay, that's looking pretty good. We'll loosen him off here. And that's our plate. We're not going to do anything on the outside. The, the laser finish on there is okay. Now we have the main thread or the main bolt that we did for bringing this through so we'll just do a test fit for that look that's okay well okay this is the puller we have the we have the bolt that we made with the hex on this end for a single hex socket we have the plate that we made and we chopped the sides off we have the thrust bearing that we put in here. So what happens is when the when the liner is sitting in the block, this comes up underneath, the plate comes up underneath, and then up the top here you have the, the plate. And I'll just run that down a little bit so you can get it in frame. We haven't got a lot of room here at the moment. And we have one, two or three um, heavy diesel gudgeon pins coming down the side. So when we have a look at this one, we have the full, the f well we have not quite the full gudgeon pin pushing on the top of the block. It's a nice large surface area. And so the idea is to set this up with one, two, three, four, however many we can get in, we can move them around to wherever we like and then the idea then is just that we turn this centre screw and that will start pulling the liner up. 